Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this week, I'm going to teach you guys how to make this beautiful umbrella using your Cricut machine. I'll have everything I use in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned. All right, guys, to begin this project, I'm just going to upload my image into Design Space, and then I'm going to change the size to 9x9 nine by, nine by clicking the lock button in the bottom left corner of the image and going up to the top bar and entering 9 in the width and 9 in the length. And then I went and grabbed some circle shapes from the left column, and this, I'll be using these for my polka dots. And I believe I made 24 of them. And right here, I just grabbed a bunch and I selected them and I'm just hitting duplicate. And I also duplicated my image because I want this on two sides of my umbrella. And I'm changing the color of my polka dots because I don't want everything on a black mat because Chris Cricket, as Cricket separates your projects by color. And once I have everything all cut out, I'm just going to go ahead and weed it. And since this project has so many pieces, I'm going to layer them on top of each other before I apply it to the umbrella. And I did forget to mention that before I cut my project, I reversed my image. So now I'm just going to take this contact paper and use my scraper to get the vinyl off of the backing. And for this piece of contact tape paper, I stuck it to my shirt a few times to lessen the stickiness because since I am layering my project, if I was to just use the contact paper as soon as I cut it, it would pull the whole image off. So I'm just using my scraper and applying as much pressure as needed to get the vinyl off the backing. And then I'm just going to put all the little pieces together and then transfer it to the umbrella all at one time instead of several different times. This makes the project go by easier. And I'm applying my vinyl inside my umbrella and that is why I mirror my project. Don't forget to mirror your project. I'm using 651 vinyl that I ordered offline from U.S. Cutter. And I only use U.S. Cutter because it's a local um, warehouse where I can order online and go pick it up. I do not suggest going to Michael's because I ordered a 12 by 24 piece of vinyl. For 189 and a 12 by 12 sheet at Michaels is 209 so I basically got double the product and still pay less for the price if there I would suggest that you google to see if there's a local vinyl shop in your area if there isn't then if you have the patience to wait I will order offline from like 651 vinyl or somewhere but I would suggest using Michael's as like a last resort or if they have a coupon. But it's not my first choice. And this contact paper I'm using, I purchased this one from um, Target. But they do also sell this in Dollar Tree. It'll be in the, shelving, in, in the section where they sell the shelf liners. Now I'm finishing up layering everything. And you just go over it with your scraper or whatever tool you use just to apply pressure. And sometimes when you're trying to peel it off, um, it doesn't come up right away. So you can apply more pressure or always pull up at an angle. And so to before I apply to my umbrella, I'm going to clean the inside surface with Windex or sometimes I use rubbing alcohol. But you definitely need to clean your surface before you apply the vinyl. And that just allows it to last longer. And once I have the inside clean, I'll just 
put my image down and slowly peel it up as at an angle especially since i have small pieces you definitely want to pull it up slowly apply more pressure when needed and hold down the smaller pieces and i'm just going to do that um all the way around my umbrella until it's completed and that's it guys Super easy project, super quick. Well, I'm not going to say it's quick because this is a little time consuming. But it is pretty easy. It looks harder than it is. And just have fun. Oh, I also purchased, I purchased this umbrella from Michaels with my 60% off coupon. But you can buy them from Amazon or, you know, um, if you would like to get them in bulk, you can order them from Sarah Glove. It's just really your preference where you would like to get your umbrellas from. And that's it. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned to my channel because I have a bunch more goodies coming for you guys. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And I'll get and I'll help you guys as best as I can. Until next time.